Here they come. And the raw fan pacing. Visa V's blue chip is off to a good beginning along with Manette and Calico Jack Hanover from the center. Coming across will be Captain Luke to get in front of the rail starter legendary Hanover. Back to Bet on Mac. Then it's Remember the Alamo followed by Enforcer. And at the back of the pack is Wikipedia. Calico Jack Hanover is out in front here for Louis Waugh as Manette races in second and Visa V's blue chip is in third. Captain Luke is fourth and the heavy favorite legendary Hanover is back there in fifth. 26 and two. So they were sprinting in the opening quarter as Calico Jack Hanover went out to the lead. Manette is two lengths off in second. Vis a vis blue chip pacing along in third. Then we go back to Captain Luke. All eyes on legendary Hanover who sits fifth. Being tracked by Bet on Mac. Then it's Remember the Alamo, followed by Enforcer. And Wikipedia can see them all. No movement just yet. So Calico Jack Hanover trying to back things down. Waugh takes a peek back, and they're going to go by the half, leading it here in 57 and 2. 31 seconds in the second quarter. Calico Jack Hanover onto the far turn. Manette in second. So Captain Luke is first up, and there's the cover for Legendary Hanover, who's up on the outside now into fourth at the rails visa. Of ease blue chip. Then we go to Bet on Mac, who's followed on the outside by Remember the Alamo at the inside, Enforcer, and then Wikipedia. So Calico Jack Hanover got an easy second quarter, picks it up now. A length away is Captain Luke, and Legendary Hanover looms second over, three quarters, 125 and two. They're into the stretch. Calico Jack Hanover, the sprint is on. Captain Luke in the center, off cover. Here comes Legendary Hanover, back at the inside, Manette, and from the back comes Remember the Alamo. Calico Jack Hanover still Leads it. Legendary Hanover trying to power on by. Legendary Hanover coming on the outside. Another win for the Legendary Hanover. Half lengths to score from Calico Jack Hanover, who finished in second. Remember, the Alamo was third. 152 and 1. Uber impressive win for Legendary Hanover. I mean, that sprint down the stretch was something to get excited about. Oh, unbelievable mile there for him. Glass, you know, Calico Jack, I kind of feel bad in a way for him, you yeah, know, because it's, it's like, he, you know, he, Louis did such and a over. The sprint is on. Captain Luke in the center, off cover. Here comes Legendary Hanover. Back at the inside, Manette, and from the back comes, remember, the Alamo. Calico Jack Hanover still leads it. Legendary Hanover trying to power on by. Legendary Hanover coming on the outside. Another win for the legendary Hanover. Half lengths to score from Calico Jack Hanover, who finished in second. Remember, the Alamo was third. 152 in, in early. Legendary Hanover gets it done in this division of the Nasagawea. I'm here with the winning driver, James McDonald. Now, James, take us through your trip tonight. Did you kind of want to give him an easy one because of the mile that he went last time out? No, I just wanted to take care of him, you know. I wanted to, was just going to let the race see how it unfolded. He had the rail. Uh, you know, I, obviously, I thought that would be best case if I could find a helmet and try and buzz him. He, you know, he, everyone can see what he can do on the on the lead and what kind of power he's got. But uh, to beat the best, you got to be versatile and, and be able to do anything. So... Uh, with the rail, I just wanted to try and get him as good a spot as I could and then just kind of let the race unfold. Now, having watched some of these Colts race, obviously North America and sitting behind this guy, legendary Hanover, just early on, where do you think this guy can stack up by the end of the year? Ah, he's, he's got tools, he's got the body, the, 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 the gait, the, the, breed, the breeding. So, uh, I mean, I, I'd stack him up against anyone right now. I mean, hopefully, you know, it's, it's always a deep bunch, but hopefully uh, he can keep progressing and keep uh, learning to be a great horse. And, you know, I, I got all the confidence in him. He's pacing pretty strong. After some relatively soft, uh, a relatively soft middle half, were the plugs still in turning for home? Yeah, I, I, I never pulled them, but I mean, I, that doesn't mean anything, you know. Louis' horse got got some soft middle half and uh, backed it down, and I had to kind of make up some ground sprinting. But he, he just he's, he's he can do anything. He, he's big. He's a powerhouse. He can carry his speed, and he's got quick speed like a small horse. So uh, he's a real pleasure to sit behind right now, and I hope he uh, he, he keeps uh, developing. 
I'm going to fast forward to your, your uh, Canadian Pacing Derby elimination and talk about his older brother, Line Drive Hanover. Disappointed over at Hoosier Park, didn't put forth the effort that we're all accustomed to seeing. Was it just a bad night or did he tie up? Um, as far as I know, Tony had told me he came up sick after the race. So, uh, you know, yeah, we were all disappointed. He'd, it's not like, uh, well, he raced bad or he threw a clunker and he, he never really raced a bad race in his life. So uh, it was really uncharacteristic. Uh, you got stung hard and it was a tough trip as well. But uh, I, I think it just had more to do with the sickness than anything because he's, he's a pretty gifted horse. And, uh, I, you know, I think the world of him as well. Congratulations, James. Best of luck tonight. Thank you very much. Legendary Hanover, James McDonald, Tony Bean. Get it done in this division of the NASA Goea.